Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys how to create uh, this guy. So I've built part of this for you already, and then eventually you're going to build, as you go down through the steps, this whole shape of a little action figure guy. So let's go scroll back up here, and I got a vendor open. This is the shape, it's in the pickup box, it's already built for you. You can get started with that. But I'm going to start by create a new sketch on this face right here, okay? And I'm going to need to project the geometry. So I'm going to project the geometry this whole outside edge. And I do that because I need to find the center. So I just click on it right there. And what that does is it brings those lines forward so I can use them. If you kind of look at the angle here, you can see what it did. Okay, it brought those lines forward to my plane that I am now drawing on so I can use those lines. And that's what project geometry does. So, and the reason I wanted to do that is because I'm going to use the ellipse tool and I'm going to need to find the center. So there's the center of both the horizontal and the vertical right there. Okay, and then I'm going to draw an ellipse, something like that, and that. I'm just guessing right now. Use the dimension. And if you, press, you can just press D for dimension if you want. And I just click on this, and this needs to be, I believe, 0.3, and this needs to be 0.24. Looks like I got it pretty close. And then I'm going to finish sketch. Okay, put that on there. Now I'm going to extrude. And I need to, when I do this extrusion, I need to, uh, well, first I'm going to select the center because I want to get the center part. But then I really also need to get this. I need to actually click on the outside edge of this ellipse. If I select the center of it, it's not going to get those edges that I need. I need those edges. So I need to make sure I'm getting those edges in there, getting the whole thing just like so. So it looks like a nice, if I look at it straight on, looks like a perfect ellipse that I did. Let's go back to my home. And I'm going to extrude it 0.84. And I'm going to hit the more button here. And I'm going to go with, you know, I'm just going to guess 10. Just kind of fudging it a little bit. You can do 10, maybe 11. Whatever you thought looked a little better, and you can always look at it oops, like that to see what you think. Uh, uh, oops, sorry. I like 10, though. Yeah, 10 looks pretty good. I'm going to go OK. Back to my home view. All right, and so we go back to this guy, and we've now created this perfect. And we're coming in here, and it wants us to create this kind of edge to it. So what I need to do a couple things here. I need to, one, create an axis. Okay. So the axis tool is up here, and the axis just gives me, basically going to find the center of this. It's called a work axis. I can use it later. So I just hover over here until I get the edge of my ellipse. It then finds the center, and it creates a work axis there. That is a line that it doesn't mean anything, doesn't do anything. It just helps me use as a reference later. All right. And then... I'm going to select this side. I'm going to actually, I'm actually going to do a couple things here because I, I want to get this shape in the way that I want to look at it most often. So I'm going to go with the right side. I'm going to spin it around like that. Okay, and that's the face I want to look at most often. So I'm going to, it's going to be the front of my shape. So I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to go set current view as front. I'm going to click this little corner here. And I'm going to right click one more time and I'm going to go set current view as home, fit to view. Okay, so now every time I click front, it goes there. If I click home, it goes there. So I'm going to go my front, and then I'm actually, in this case, I'm going to work on the side, my side view, just like that. And I'm going to go create a new sketch. Okay. And I'm going to go with, I'm going to right click here. This one's called Slice Graphics. And what Slice Graphics does is it lets me kind of look straight into my shape that I'm using. So if I look at the thing, it hasn't removed this part, but it lets me look at it as if I was removed. And it'll put it back when I'm done. So I'll use the Slice Graphics tool. And basically what we need to do here is create this shape right here. Now it doesn't give you actual dimensions for this shape. It gives you a couple dimensions to use the reference, but for the most part, we're making it up. Now, this right here is a typo. If you look at it close enough, 
half of 1.2 cannot be 0.8, so this would actually have to be 0.6. So I'm going to draw some lines. Boom. And I'll draw another one here. Okay. A couple things about these lines. I want them to be equal to each other. Great. Um, might have actually made these a little long. I might just try these dudes one more time. Sorry about that. Because I do want to get a better. There we go. Something maybe more like that. Okay. And there we go. And again, I'll set them equal to each other. Okay. And I'm going to project geometry. I'm going to use this axis that I created. So I'm going to bring that in. Again, it's just a reference line. And I'm going to go dimension to here. Oops. Try again, dimension here to this point. There we go. And I want this to be 0.6. Again, remember that was a typo. And then this point to this point, I want it to be 1.2. There. I just said that right. And then all I'm doing here is I'm coming in with an arc. And I'm going point to point. I'm just guessing here. Again, this is just a guess. Uh, but basically, I want to make sure that I don't go outside of it, get kind of close to that edge right there. Something like that. Cool. And now I'm kind of noticing an issue here. Let me make sure I got this right. This line goes from this corner to this corner. Delete and make sure these are equal to each other again, just because I had that little off right there. You guys should, probably should have got caught that. There we go. Everything looks good there. Still make sure I'm in there. Perfect. Finish sketch. Okay. Home view. Uh, I'm going to flip it around a little bit so I can take a look at what I'm doing. I'm going to go extrude. I'm going to select this, both of these. Okay. The full shape there. I'm going to use this guy right here, the intersect. Okay. I'm going to go distance all. And in this case, I want to go with the symmetric. Right? Just like that. And I'm going to go, okay. And that gives me that shape. Now, if I go back to my front, that's kind of the shape that I'm going with right there. Cool. All right. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create. This time I got to do the head. So we're down. And and there's our head. Now it doesn't give us a lot of reference with with the head on how to do it, but. I'll show you the way that I would do it that would be the, what the easiest is. Uh, again, there's no dimensions here. You're just kind of fudging and guessing what the head would look like. Appropriate size head for this body. So I'm going to go new sketch. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to go new sketch. I'm going to create what's called a work plane. And this work plane is going to let me draw on it. And I'm going to click on my axis. Okay. And then I'm going to click on one of these sides. Basically, I want to cut these there. So I'm going to click on this side right here. Okay, 90 degrees gives me a little preview of what it looks like. That is okay. And now I have a work plane. And why I want that is because I want to create a new sketch in my work plane. I want to draw in the middle. And again, I can pull this back up. Okay. And once again, I'm going to use slice graphics. Right click, slice the graphics. And now I can look at my shape. I'm going to project geometry because I want to use this axis again. And I'm going to create a line. I'm going to start just beneath where the top of the body is. And I'm going to draw a head, top of the head, to what I think is an appropriate size head for this guy. Just a guess. Okay. I then oh, use my circle tool. Um, something like that. And you can draw it however you guys want to draw it. Something like that. And my arc tool. There we go. Use my trim. And that guy can go. And I got what looks like half of a head right there. 
Again, make sure I'm keeping kind of in the center there like that, just underneath the shoulder so it'll match in. I'm going to then finish that sketch. I'm then going to use my revolve, select my face. You can always pull this down, select my face right here. And my axis is going to be the line that I want to revolve around. I'm going to do a full revolve, OK. And now I have a guy. Uh, it's not perfect. You guys' head can look different. It doesn't really matter. You're just trying to get a little guy in there. Uh, the work plane, I can right click on the work plane over here. And I can go turn off the visibility so I have to look at it. And there he is. There is my guy. All right, guys. Good luck.